Today I'm going to share five tips for fishing strawberry reservoir in the fall. For me, the fall fishing starts as soon as the kokanee season ends, which is September 10th, until there's ice on the lake, which will go to November, end of November, beginning of December. You can still potentially get on the lake. So my first tip, number one, is get there early. Like kokanee fishing, cutthroats and rainbows, they tend to feed early in the morning at strawberry. I have found this to be more true than not. So I always try to get there on the water before light and set up and go as soon as possible. Uh, one sub tip to help get ready early and to start fishing early is make sure you're prepared before you get there. I always try to get the poles that I initially want to use all rigged up and set up so I'm not wasting any time in the morning uh, getting things going during those precious fishing hours. Tip number two is before the sun hits the water early in the morning, I like to fish the surface. I found that the fish tend to be feeding up on the top the early, early morning. So one method that you, if you watch my videos, you've seen us do is we'll cast spoons along the top and reel in fast to keep them in that top water column. If you're throwing tube jigs, you can do the same thing. Um, just keep them in that top water column. Also, I've found to be very effective is just a piece of night crawler behind a, a bobber. Um, in those first couple hours before that sun really hits the water, that's been very effective. Tip number three, after the sun hits the water, fish deeper. Once the sun hits the water and it starts to warm up, the fish tend to feed a little bit deeper. So at that point, I'll either let my spoon drop down for a few seconds uh, before I start reeling it in or with my tube jigs. Um, that's usually when I'll switch over to tube jigs and cast out, let them sink a good 15, 20 seconds and then slowly bring them in. So you're fishing deeper in that water column. Tip number four is use a GPS and mark productive spots. There's apps you can download for your phone that you can use to navigate the lake. Or if you have a fish finder that has a built-in GPS, I recommend marking those spots. One of the reasons to mark the spots is early in the morning, in the fall, often the water temperature is warmer than the air temperature. This creates a literal cloud on the lake and you're navigating through the fog in those early morning hours. By having spots marked, you can know that you're in the right spot and fishing where you want to be. Half of the fun of fishing is finding where the fish are and marking spots allows you to return and try those spots again, trip after trip. Tip number five is take a friend or family member. If you watch my videos, you'll notice that I frequently take different people out with me I love to use fishing as an opportunity to share what I love as well as build relationships with my friends and family. It's always a great time out on the water. Um, so would you ever want to do it again? That's the question. Yeah? Mm -hmm. On a scale of 1 to 10, how is your experience? 10. 10. <laughs> if you could come back tomorrow, would you do it? Yeah. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. We'd love to hear what some of your top tips are for fall fishing, either at Strawberry or other reservoirs. Leave them in the comments below. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please take the time to subscribe. We'd love to have you follow our channel and follow us on our fishing adventures. Happy fishing and tight lines.